Welcome to the Yo Brother Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Smith. Alongside me, as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith. Hey, Dan. Hey, man. We are back. Just a little, uh, just a little, little after Christmas. Yeah, it's our post show, uh, our post Christmas show. It's uh, December twenty right. eighth, so just a little bit after Christmas, and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do kind of a, a, a dual episode. We're gonna talk about a little brief conversation about WW eighty four because Wonder Woman just came out on Christmas mm-hmm. Day, so we're gonna chat about that. And then really the crux of the episode, we're gonna do a look back. We're gonna do sort of the old brother year in review, reflect back over these, believe it or not, 32 episodes counting today. 32, wow. 32, Does that like, that's not counting the trailer? That's 32 episodes. Wow. Yeah, yep, full episodes. Every week we hit it. Just about every week, yeah. We had one where it's like maybe a couple weeks, we took a little bit of a, you know extra hiatus there but so if you're not uh, currently following us the easiest way to, to to check us out is on our official website which is ohbpodcast.com that's ohb is in brother podcast.com you can get access to everything there youtube channel all the social media we put out a blog you know if you want to Look at images, Twitter, of us, Twitter yeah. and all that stuff's out there. So yep. go to OB, ohbpodcast.com. Check us out there. So I just want to dive in. We, so we've talked about this for weeks and weeks and weeks, this whole with COVID and the theater is basically shutting down and, you know, everything going to streaming and this push to streaming. And so, mm-hmm. of course, the most recent blog actually we put out was about this HBO the Warner Max Brothers deal. Warner yeah. Brother deal yeah. where they announced their 2021 full slate of films is going to be, I, I don't know what theaters they're releasing in, but let's just say they're, it, it's all streaming. That's really the main issue. Yeah. Is they're all going to be streaming. So the first, the first one, I guess you say was Wonder Woman 84. That kicked it off. Yeah. Kicked it off Christmas day. Now this was, supposed to be released months ago months ago yeah months ago although it was clearly a christmas meant release but it was literally months ago it was going to be in theaters yeah and so we have both watched this film in the last couple of days and the thing i wonder is why they released this film at all <laughs> i in fact i want to go back to 1984 to kind of change you know turn the world on its axis like superman and this franchise right knows what they're doing right and and we're not we're not comic book guys so we're not marvel dc but marvel knows how to make movies via disney and dc just doesn't have it down it's amazing there's only one other film i won't say generally but i'll say within the superhero realm and you know what i'm going to say there's only one film I hate more than this film, and that's Aquaman. Yeah, I was going to say. With it. Jason and, and Momoa. One of the worst films I've ever seen. Which made a lot of money for them. I don't know how. And people, th- I yeah, think people, people like are it. so, people are dug into the comic book thing. The DC, I'm DC and I'm Marvel. I don't care about, I've never read a comic book other than maybe the Flintstones when I was a kid. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yabba dabba do. And Wonder Woman was maybe the only thing they had that was halfway decent last time. Well, here's the killer is, yeah, haven't been in deep. Now, I was uh, somewhat into comic books as a kid. In fact, Captain America was my go. Yeah aside from superman so i always straddled the line between marvel and dc right and, you know so it pains me because you know we're fans of superman at law all, all the iterations and batman yeah. right but man dc just this was another first of all it's an hour too long it's two least. and a half hours is yeah, way not, too long way too long and I can't imagine, again, I think it's irrelevant, but I'm curious to know what it pulled in at whatever theaters it might have been at. It can't be much. I, well, I bet if 
if things were normal, this oh, would have made a lot of money. Sure. Because, you know, the anticipation and the, but this does not pay off in no, any and, shape or form. You know, we, we've talked about this. I don't think we've ever talked about this in a blog, but literally they make movies for the opening weekend grab. Yeah. Right. I mean, you grab 70 million in that opening weekend. Who gives it's, who gives what, well, what it does next week and it's the it's the it's the same reason why the trailers are the way they are nowadays yeah they they, they show so literally in, the best scene exactly because they you know they want to get that weekend take like you said yeah but you know it, it's like like most things with dc films the story was incoherent and didn't make a lot of sense it was dumb it was really dumb. it was really dumb and the i'll be honest i wasn't impressed at all with the effects the whole flying sequences I yeah thought, pretty weak i mean and think about it 19 what 77 mm -hmm. or earlier was it 77 that superman or 75 i think Donners. i think 77 i mean he showed you could do it he right. proved a man could fly mm -hmm. well they haven't quite learned how to do it yet. And, and like and Man the of Steel. Look they've... at Man of Steel. Right. And that's under there. You know, Christopher movie. Nolan, they've got a guy. Yeah. They've got a guy that they could take, make him the head Maybe not of long. DCU. I know. He because he's, he hates this deal, which I don't blame him. Right. In, and this is in our blog about, you know, this really affects their way to make money because mm -hmm. they make money off the theatrical release. Yeah. They don't want it streaming. They make, obviously they make money, but not like they make in that opening weekend. It's it just so, I, I sat there watching it with my head in my hand most of the time, just going, I, I don't get it. I don't, and, and like the Kristen Wig, the like cheetah thing was totally stupid and, and, and how they left it, it right. was even stupider. It was just so silly and made no sense. And, 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 and Pedro Pascal was, I thought was okay in it, but- He was the major focus. He was, but the story around it was so yeah. weak. And you know, the fact that her motivation was, oh, he's the first guy that pays attention to her essentially. And so that sets up this animosity between her and wonder when it, it just yeah I, it was dumb it was, it so was stupid dumb. i thought pedro a few times made me laugh and and i think his character was supposed to be sort of funny over the top i love the hair well what about uh, the ending the, the the end and sorry spoiler alert i really don't care because i hated this movie so much but if you don't if you don't want to know about it turn <laughs> off click right it now. off now click it off but but like i should have done with the film it, the ending where he has this about face and this epiphany about his kid. Oh, with his kid. I'm, yeah. I'm sitting there going, you didn't give a shit about your kid the first two hours of the movie. <laughs> and now all of a sudden you're the wishing stone and now your kid means enough. I, I yeah. Just, I, I give away my wish. Yes. It I was denounce so stupid. or renounce my wish. Yeah. It was so dumb. And even her sitting there going, I'm not talking to you i'm talking all of that oh, that was so corny all these people in the world i don't want my wish yeah i don't it, want it, my wish i want to drink water can i go can i go back to 84 to tell patty jenkins not to make this film and, and, and you know they've already he's a good it, director too which and again it, it's just sad i mean we waited this yeah. long for that yeah yeah that's a total letdown and, and if you like this movie i'm sorry you got to go back and watch it again with a more critical eye no, did it's you bad. like the original Wonder Woman? Oh, yeah. And it, it really got me thinking about, because I've sort of forgotten it. And I oh, think yeah. this movie made me forget it. Well, you know, and of course, we get that little, you know, Book of Boba Fett reveal at the end of Wonder Woman 84, right? Did you see that? Did you see the post credit thing? Um, I'm looking at you going, I don't think you know what I'm talking no, about. No, I did. Um but I didn't, I don't see any relationship to what? Boba Fett. No, no, no. I'm, I'm making it like an analogy. 
Oh yeah, uh, what was I? For, I forget it. It was so well, the lame. Big, the big reveal of who? Oh, was... Linda, Linda Carter. Right, exactly. Which I was watching the movie, right? Who and looks the credits... amazing, by the way. Yeah, and I'm watching the credits, right? And I'm thinking, geez, I'm, I was looking for Linda Carter's name. I'm like, I gotta, I must. She was probably like a, you know, a, a waitress or something. I just missed her. Yeah, and then she turned out to be. Sorry for the spoiler, but she's the, and it's not even a good spoiler because what, what does it, it again? mean? Anastasia, Mysteria, Mysteria. Yeah, and I, is well, that her I, name in the show? I don't. Yeah, I don't play the show no, much. no. The, the, what it is is she's she's apparently. I'm assuming she's going to end up in the third one, as essentially the the goddess or the mother of the. I, I don't know. Again, I don't really care. The opening too was. The whole scene didn't pay off with the with the younger version of Wonder Woman. No, kid. I didn't like that either. That was so goofy. Where where you know Robin Wright grabs her when she's about to win. I, that was who, dumb. Who's the woman? Okay, so you have Robin. Connie Wright Nielsen. The, they all. I kept confused. It's like the same woman. I know they all look. <laughs> look they're exactly. all gorgeous, and they all. But they just they just look the same. They just they, look yeah. The same. Well, they've got the same kind of costume on and it is hard to separate them and you know you take the the most beautiful woman in the world pretty much with gal gadot or is that how you say gadot. it gadot you take her and you put her in that big gold thing where you can't see you just see a little face of her and i just it thought that stupid. well and that was just silly with the wings the size of it like was stupid. And the cheetah outfit was ridiculous. It was and you really notice how, how dark and, and, and how quick all the jump cuts that scene. You couldn't tell what the hell was going on. Yeah. In that battle it, between her and cheetah. It was so silly. It, it was dumb. And then, I'm sorry, folks. This movie upset me quite a bit. Right. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> I this is the most worked up. You sound like me. I hated this film, man. Um, I hated and it. And I did. I, I did pretty much just as much maybe not but because i i sort of got a kick out of pedro pascal uh i just like him a lot and and he was in it a lot he was he in was. it more than Kristen wig he was in it more than i knew he was gonna be in it he yeah. was about he had about the same amount of screen time as gal yeah it's pretty close such a weak uh story Patty Jenkins had to know this was not a good movie. She's uh, making the next Star Wars movie, right? She is. Is she doing? No, not Kenobi. I don't know. This one of a. Dozen. She's doing something with Disney now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what she's doing. To be honest, I thought it was the I, next. Again, I'm very distraught. <laughs> I, can't. I think we need to. I think we. Do you have anything else to say about Wonder Woman? I just thought, I, let's at least nah, have some... No, it was some... a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's I have mean, that's all comments. I can say. I just thought we'd need some film commentary to kick off the episode before we do our year. I mean, it, just the story is silly. The story's about this stone. Gal Gadot works with Kristen Wiig, you know, on her first day. And she's all, you know, she's all clumsy and stupid. Everyone hates her. And there was and so many. She... No, I mean, I, you know, out. that wish stone's got to be pretty strong. But, you know, she's goofy and she looks at, you know, how beautiful yeah. Gal Gadot is and everybody likes Godot. her. And Gadot. Gadot, sorry. You know what and, I wish? Uh, that this film had never what? been made. <laughs> Me, yeah. <laughs> That's what I would have wished too. <laughs> it, it, I would have wished they just said no. No. It, it, it's it's awful it's, it's really terrible bad, folks and and you know they're trying to build a marvel type of universe they right? can't do it they don't how know does how this, to do it they don't know how to tie the stories together no, this has absolutely nothing to do with the last one has nothing to do with aquaman or the justice league no they can't tie it together where yeah. Marvel has done what 16, 18 films, and there's been a clear through line. It's very it's lazy, all connected. It's very terrible. lazy, it's very terrible. lazy writing. Yeah, it's awful. And just some of the goofy, played out uh, I don't know if tropes is the word, but you know, all the things you see in the superhero movies where you know, and again, I'm supposed to believe that 
and I know Superman to an extent did the same thing, but like she's everywhere and uh, she decides to save this one young girl at the mall, but yet she, you know, it just. Right. And, and when she looks over and, you know, gives the shush sign to the little girl, like, oh, this is between. Yeah, it's our secret. Beating. I just can't anymore. With Even that. though all the can't, you know, I'm going to kill all the cameras in the universe so they don't catch me flying. <laughs> right. That oh, was dumb. God, fuck. That was really dumb. Listen, if you've got a good argument in favor of this film, please I let would us know. Love to go to our website and drop us a. We'll line. have I, you come on. Well, I, we'll I would gladly on. have you come on the show. Absolutely. Give you air time to, to sh- tell us. All right, DC uh, haters. Enough about that. Let's talk about some other shit, like our early episodes. <laughs> 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 so let's take a walk down memory lane here it's been um it's been about seven almost eight six months. months no it's been seven that months long. seven months wow yeah yeah I, since, I had since may. at six yeah since may but um you know we we and i went back and listened to a few of the the early episodes and i know you've done that recently too and god are they i god have awful. yeah they're god awful from from yeah. the, the 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 sound and the just the, the sound especially is for me. <laughs> right. I had a different mic for people who didn't notice, which they wouldn't have, but I had a mic on a thing and it looked good. But uh, <laughs> and that's what counts like in, in the audio game <laughs> is looks. <laughs> you want a microphone like that shit. looks good. <laughs> Yeah, so hey, it's very it's dynamic, like, it sounds great. It's yeah, but does it look good? <laughs> <laughs> I like the swinging arm. I thought that was cool. But we, you know, we we uh, yeah, we, we kicked off you can our, tell a, that's the biggest thing you can tell is the sound the yeah. early. I, I would just say the, the production sound in mind. The production overall is just yeah, it kept getting better. There wasn't a lot of editing going on, which, you know, the, we might, there might be a return. To that we might form. be going back there. <laughs> uh, so we kick off with our, you know, we, we shared our top five film list and that was a lot of fun. Right. And I, I still think those lists hold up. You know, if you go back I, and I, I think those I, are still, that's a solid list of 10 films. There. It's a solid list. Yeah. And we, we uh, you know, we kind of, we were, we went, we talked about the Jokers and uh, Pixar's Onward. You know, we, we were, there wasn't I wish any. We, I, I wish we hit Soul. I, I'll recommend Soul, by the way, that yeah. had the heart that was missing in Onward. But anyway, we, I, I we, think the one good thing is I think, <laughs> the one good thing, um, I think we were, completely on an upward you know well yeah we're, swing we're, from we're the start i thought, to f- thought each one got better and tighter yeah, and, and trying to figure it out and and you know because i mean an episode that was still trying to push this episode up the hill is the digital versus physical media <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think, I think <laughs> that one did, that was a that tank one. that one's a, that one's a dud but people who listen to podcasts are probably people at podcasts so they Maybe. know a lot of them know the work it takes to to produce one of these it's not yeah. just and we don't you know we don't uh storyboard we don't think out what we're going to say in advance we basically say we're going to watch this movie right so what they hear is our first impressions to each other yeah Mm -hmm. and but what you they see is a finished product of about 45 minutes which was in the beginning at least an hour and a half right yeah and you have to cut it approaching that yeah tighten 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 right so the hours that it takes to produce just one of these episodes that for most people, it's like, Oh yeah. Half hour. That's tough. It is where we started to kind of get in a groove is we did the King of Staten Island when that came out with Pete Davidson. Uh, And then Disney song of the South was controversial at the time because of the announcement about Splash Mountain at Disney World and Disneyland being remade into the Princess and the Frog. And, and then we had then, a big disagreement. Right. And then is where it's really interesting because the next episode after that, so now we're, we're just before July 4th. 
and we do the why you should love the godfather part three episode right and it's interesting how now we can see how that has been a thread more than once because we we had that then we did the the godfather coda right which, you know was horrible again not as bad as wonder so Woman disappointing but no still bad and then we um we the godfather's come up a couple of other times throughout i thought didn't we didn't we reference i guess i guess it was, those were the only two godfather three episodes right yeah but the it was just referenced in the, in the coda yeah well it's on our list yeah. too not the third one but but the uh, right the, the the one and two at least um then we we robocop we did the robocop reboot episode yeah yeah good episode we then we interviewed our mom we had the old mother episode which <laughs> we thought that was going to be the killer episode yeah we did we did and it was killer right it was it was uh yeah it killed us according it to the stats <laughs> exactly thanks mom you haven't seen her back that's right <laughs> she's people not, are probably like these, not a two, return these guest. two good lord Imagine and then you their, know their mother and then we just kind of were going through a, a series of different you know like we did uh there was a, we were going through some films that i hadn't seen that were classics yeah but i hadn't seen them yet like dr strange love yeah you we became a kubrick fanatic well more of a connoisseur because i was always a huge fan but i'm like geez i haven't actually seen his whole catalog and still haven't yeah you right know, we still right. have lolita and paths of glory i mean there's a couple of other gems yeah. in there to see um yep. um what's the other one i'm thinking of uh, eyes wide shut Linden, barry linden barry linden well eyes wide shut. eyes wide shut somebody know. just did a podcast you know what? on it. i was bummed that's an episode why you should love eyes wide shut yeah uh, you, how could you forget the Scoundrels and Nasty Women episode where we reviewed oh, the yeah. wonderful film, The Hustle, with uh, Rebel now, Wilson and you, Sandra Bullock. No, no, no. Think, sorry, sorry. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Kind of What's person. worse, The Hustle or Wonder Woman? Wow. 84. Wow. That's a, that's that's a, tough, that's huh? a tight race right there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say Wonder Woman because at least the hustle is trying to pay homage to a very classic film, which we do love, which is dirty rotten scoundrels. Not that they did a great job at it, but yeah, I, I, I'm using that as some sort of justification because I just can't like wonder woman better. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I know that's think a tough I one. Would, I think yeah, you're I going, with, think I I think you're going with the hustle. I'm going with the hustle. Yeah. But I, but I, we made that clear that I hated wonder woman more than you. Yeah, we did our yeah. trivia episode, which we need to we need to return to that because, a that was just like fun that. to do. That was fun to do, yeah. And uh, it seemed to be a, a pretty well received episode, so that that was fun. And it went back and forth quite well. Like you were it in did. the lead, I was in the lead. It was yeah. really close. And that was one where we had one of our first major technical staffers. Remember, we that's right. We with lost the, a chunk of that episode. We lost a big chunk. <laughs> to f the first half hour we lost and maybe the, then we move into a couple of epi episodes of controversy we we now we're in september and we yep. do which is our most downloaded episode to date which is mulan mulan and i hated it right and that was a great that was a great debate uh i still stand by it we now we both full disclosure both own that film yeah as do you right as much as you didn't yes. like it i did and i own I, I may even buy wonder woman 84 maybe i don't know wow just because i the collection i, I, I probably would i hope i the, don't i probably wouldn't even take the digital code from you yeah I, don't know if I hate this film <laughs> because i don't have aquaman i never bought aquaman so i probably won't buy this that's awful uh another controversial movie we we did cuties which we both oh, yeah both stand by that episode totally for those that haven't seen this this uh, french film cuties it was uh there was a there was a really heavy boycott against netflix when this yep. came out uh, good it, for them good for them for, for fighting it around. yes yes it's a good film you know it is it's 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 a good film and that is not to advocate what 
again, people were all up in arms about, which is not what the film is about anyways. It's not no. about exploitation no. of young girls that, but people couldn't get past that sort of snap. Well, and that's, a, and I think so many people probably hit it and hit it bad and never watched it. Mm -hmm. We both know that. We both know it. They heard, oh, they're exploiting these young girls. And, and then, you know, you show a couple scenes totally out of context and it can look like that. Right. But uh, I'm looking forward to her next movie that I forget to name the director, but I, yeah. I'll keep an eye on her. Yeah, it was a, that was a good film. That was a good film. Yep. It was very... Um, very well directed. Then we, yep. we, we rounded out the early fall with an episode on Full Metal Jacket. We had another Kubrick nod. Uh, just, you know, that's a classic. Most people would have already seen that by now. If, if for yeah. some reason you haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, you know. And that was a I'm full jealous. spoiler. Yeah, that full was a spoiler. Full spoiler. Episode, yeah. We just, you know, went through it. Then we move into... We had a lot of fun moving into October because we did the O Brother Halloween Fest or Horror Fest. Halloween right. Fest is what you dubbed it. And we kicked it off with uh, a, a new film that was out on Prime Video, The Invisible Man, which was a right. remake, uh, you know, a couple times over. Surprised both of us. It did. And it was a Bloomhouse production, mm -hmm. uh, which we, we revisit several blue mouse productions but um yeah i think we were we were uh i was i wasn't expecting much right right i mean you and know it, it's not it's not a great film but it was a, no it no was a decent view it was, a, it was a good rental it was a solid rental. A good rental i wouldn't i wouldn't buy that particular film but i enjoyed it yeah i think i i did purchase it i do own that film um, do you really? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I do. In fact, I know I do. You, I you probably you probably got like one of those sales. It was one of those digital sales. Yeah, yeah. And we mm -hmm. another Kubrick film I I hadn't seen, top to bottom. The Shining. Yeah, and that was just and, and that was like we we went deep into The Shining too. We really did. Yeah, a lot of a lot of heavy analysis of that one and. Um, and we barely research. we barely scratch the surface of it too of what's out there yeah. i still see things pop up that in fact there was something on uh, maybe instagram the other day where uh there's there's a uh, an account i follow uh horror man 93 i think is the account give give the give him a shout out or her i, I honestly don't on know. instagram yeah and just post these awesome stills and things of different horror movies and stuff and a lot of michael myers stuff which i love it might have been or it's cinema magic i don't know which account it was that i follow but uh it um it had a a shot of nicholson i think when he's given he's doing the interview in the beginning of the film to get the right. job at the end right and he's wearing this green uh cotton um or corduroy tie almost mm -hmm. right and and what they did was they had a uh they had the uh, the shot of him with the tie, a close up of the tie, like a zoom in, and then they had the the uh, the, the maze, the right. Um, oh, it's you know uh, yeah. What, what do you call it? The you know the the it's hedges. a maze. It's a hedge yeah. maze. Well, the tie, the pattern in the tie, resembles the maze from a bird's eye view. It's mind blowing when you see it. It's like wow. oh my god, you know. Just wow. the detail. And that's Kubrick. That's Kubrick. We talked about that. Yeah. You know? You'll so have that was, to shoot that to me because. I will. I will. That was just like a couple of days ago. That. So I, then we had, you know, we interviewed mom and then we started to, you know, since her episode tanked, we had to up our game a little bit. Yeah. And we got we a We upped chance. it a lot. We did. And we, we, we yeah. had the pleasure to interview Jamie Chambers, who's an actor, producer, uh, writer out of the UK. Mm -hmm. And he's been in a number of films, a lot of big films too, like uh, Mission Impossible. Fury. Fury and uh, he was in The Force Awakens as a heavy gunner stormtrooper. Right. And um, but just a really gracious, fascinating guy. Uh, it was just really yeah. fun to talk to him. And it was actually the biggest 
snafu of the O Brother podcast at that point. We were talking oh, to Jamie, man. having a really great conversation for about half an hour. And then I realized we're not recording. And oh. so, <laughs> but he was know, so, he was so cool about, about it. And, and we ended up, you know, it was making lemonade out of the situation because you and I, we cut this intro talking about it. And yeah. uh, I don't know. I, th I think in the end, again, things happen for a reason. And it, and it, it, it seemed to, it seemed mm -hmm. to add to the, to the, to kind of light tone of the interview that we had with him. Did, did we, did we talk with him for two hours? Yeah, we did. We wow. did. Yes. And he, he carved out two hours for us. He did. And, and we're like two hours. We're never going to talk for two and hours. And what was cool is, and if you go back and listen to the episode, which we, we encourage you to do if you haven't heard it, because he really is a, a, a really interesting guy to listen to. And, and his motivation. He's got some stuff coming up that I'm He's got a lot of to. stuff. He's got a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. And, um, and we, you know, the, the, the goal will be to talk to him again in the new year here. We want yeah. to bring him back on yes, uh, because he does have a lot of, of projects in the works right now. Um, one called uh, Eve, I believe. Yes. And, That's the uh, one you've shown me some video of that yes. really looks, um, it's sci-fi. It yeah. looks really good. It's pretty wild. And, uh, but he was also in Slaughterhouse 2, which is a kind of a cult classic horror film. And uh, so it was, it was fitting because we were in the middle of our Halloween fest. Horror. So yeah. we were able to, able and to that's a that Blumhouse, in. right? That was Blumhouse. Wasn't no, it? no, no, or no, 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 no. Okay. That was a, yeah, no, wasn't quite on that scale, but yeah, I was a little lower budget. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> then we went into, uh, we reviewed the film, The Lie. Oh yeah, if that's can... Blumhouse. Yes, and I hated that. It's funny. <laughs> you hated it. Yeah. What did you hate about it? Well, the whole premise, the whole setup, the the initial lie was stupid. Yeah, yeah, that was right? Peter. The Sars whole thing that Peter Sarsgaard. I, I liked all the actors. Yeah, Sarsgaard. That Sarsgaard. was our pirate week. <laughs> Sars guard are and that was the one the funniest thing to me about that episode what i liked about that episode is when i was watching it on video right and i had said on audio that he was brothers with like first of all i brought up pennywise which totally annoyed you for whatever reason <laughs> you got totally annoyed by that and you're like, what are you talking about, Penny? What are you talking well, about, It Penny took you forever for? to get to the connection you were trying to make. I know. And I, I was trying to make a connection between the brothers. Which they're not brothers. And it brothers. turns out they're not brothers. They're not so when I'm watching the episode, you didn't tell me <laughs> you had discovered this. So I'm watching the episode on video and then scroll it across the brother. Again, not brothers. <laughs> These two are not brothers. I must have said it five times. So every time <laughs> I said it, you would say not related. You know, it was, that was fun. Yeah. I, 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 you know, again, not a great film, good rental. I liked it more than you did, but you know, I, I take yeah. your points that you made about it. There's some weak, you know, plot lines and stuff, but, but yeah. then we got to, we got to round out our Halloween fest on Halloween. We recorded this episode mm -hmm. and released it about Halloween. It was all about the Halloween franchise. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, that was one of the most, uh, up to that point, one of the most enjoyable episodes we did because that's my favorite horror franchise of all time. And we yeah. uh, actually got, got a, it's a good opportunity yeah, to bring oh, back in the, uh, right. the Harris, Harris signed Michael Myers Funko Pop that, uh, well, it's funny because I, I bought this for Mike for his birthday, which is in October. And then he turned around and gave it to me because that's just how he is. If you send him a, a Christmas card or birthday thing, which I don't do anymore, right in the trash. I wish that was a joke. Yeah, right. but it has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with the emotional attachment. You're, you're just it. not a sentimental kind of guy. I know, I I know. But what I was hoping you were talking about doing it. Uh, we're both hoping to do different backgrounds. We don't like the. Uh, Right, you know the background. Neither we're does anyone else. using. Yeah, hopefully nobody's watching, so that helps. No, I think uh, Esham Nelms laughed at it when when we oh, first really? looked at us. <laughs> yeah, I think 
that wasn't on camera, but I think he looked up and because he was looking down, he looked up and he was he kind of That's chuckled. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, so that rounded out October. Then we uh, then we took on another and, new. And film. Our, our our hope will be now that we're into guests and we kind of know how the thing goes. Like I hope we can get Danielle Harris next halloween and talk with her it's big it's big fish i don't know yeah it's that would be a, that would be a goal of mine. she's amazing she does a um uh she does a thing on her instagram live uh or youtube channel maybe common common terror if i'm saying that right where she you know does basically like a live commentary watching a film and yeah she did that with her i think she that. did that with kane from friday the 13th if i'm not mistaken but yeah, Kane Hodder. Yeah. So yeah. then we move. Then, then we go into November and we re reviewed uh, Sophia Coppola's latest film, On the Rocks, with Bill Murray and um, Rashida Jones, which was yes. really nice. I, I enjoyed it. It was it was a good pleasant. Film. Yeah, pleasant movie. Pleasant movie. Uh, not so pleasant. Eh, you know, of an ending. Wasn't quite. I thought the beginning was great. I thought Bill Murray was great. I thought what they did with Rashida Jones was off. Yeah. I think she was too pretty for the way they were portraying her in that picture. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah that's fair. I know, I know what you're saying. And, you know, for those that have seen yeah. that, that film, which again, yeah. solid rental for sure. For sure. Yeah, definitely. I would, you know? I would recommend that. Ties into our Godfather theme, you know, Sofia Coppola. Um, then we, then we reviewed a, a long time favorite of ours, uh, The Ice Storm. Ang Lee's The Ice Storm, yeah. which we argue is Ang Lee's best film. I think it quite is. Quite frankly. I mean, the, the cast, the writing, the directing, there's nothing you can point to in this film that isn't just great. It's fantastic Toby McGuire, film. It's really a wonderful film. Loved getting and the there's chance a lot to of see great, that again. Yeah, there's a lot of great features. Of course, I didn't give them to you. Uh, but I watched them myself. They're right. Because you had the DVD without the extras. And... Right. I was like, hey, wait a second. I you did get the commentary though, right? Or did you not get the I commentary? I did get the commentary, yeah. Okay. I did. Now, we talked about doing a John Hughes tribute episode for a long time, which we still haven't done, but we got a chance to uh, pay homage with an episode on planes, trains, and automobiles, which was kind of our Thanksgiving themed episode uh and yeah i what i mean what can you say about planes trains and automobiles awesome. it's a classic it's definitely john candy's best film a little bit of argument whether or not it's steve martin's best film or not because you got roxanne and so many other films of his but right probably right. roxanne and planes trains and automobiles for the win there you know pretty close yeah neck and neck and but it oh it's just it it makes me uh, that one makes me hurt because I miss John Candy so I, I miss John Candy as well. He was just so good. And yeah. Yeah, again, another guy you think about what we could have what had. What would he have him. given us? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, th so then, now this is, this is, we're talking end of November, we're coming up on. And a few, mm -hmm. a month at least prior to this, I say to you, hey, have you seen a trailer for this movie? With Mel Gibson, it's called Fat Man. Right. It's, uh, it's right. like Santa Claus something, and I had sent you the link or whatever. And, and, and I looked seen at it. it. Yeah, you'd seen it. I looked at it. Then yeah. like a month goes by or something, and then a movie comes out. And then you come, you you reach out to me and say, hey, you know, this movie Fat Man, whatever. So it leads us to then do an episode on this movie Fat Man. Right. Which uh, came out on... Um, just before Thanksgiving Day, I think, right? Yeah, like, on, on digital. On digital, correct. Yeah, and, and and I had watched it the night before. As did I. You you watched? Oh no, I watched it, it I the you day of it that that day. Watched you watched it, it that twice. Day. That's right. That's so right. if you go back, that's a great one to go back to because we're both a tad shell shocked. That's yeah. we are very different in that podcast than any other podcast and how does we're I, both like we liked yeah you you how opened did I it open with, that? Ho, ho, ho ho holy shit <laughs> was uh, i believe the uh 
that was it. And we saw that on a poster afterwards. So yeah, well, Ashim Nelms. So the director is Ian and Ashim Nelms. If you go to their like Facebook and they're so they have that as the banner. It says ho ho ho. Yeah. You know. Now was that after uh, we talked? No, 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 no. So we so we so we do an episode reviewing the film and yeah, it stars Mel Gibson, Walton Goggins, Marianne Jean Baptiste, and Chance Hurstfield as the as the young kid in it. I I was just stunned at what I'd seen. I'd never seen a film like it. It's now like at the top of my every holiday, every Christmas, I'm going to be watching this film. Mm-hmm. And we just, and as you said, it's captured in the, in, in the, oh, oh, sorry, folks, little technical difficulties. <laughs> no, it was. The Godfather just what keeps, was that? it was the beginning of the Godfather episode. It just keeps kicking <laughs> in. Because I'm, I'm, I'm referencing the different episodes looking at. Uh, oh, that's funny. So you, you hit like play. And I hit but, play. And the, again, if you go back to that episode and we are, I'm almost like, the first thing I said after you, you started and then you said something to me and I said, I definitely liked it. And I was like, but you know, it was very violent. I kept warning people. Yeah. You kept like, saying that, maybe yeah. too violent. And I kept saying, well, it's, it's a dark it's, comedy. It's a dark comedy. Rated right. R. I said a lot of violence. I kept now, throwing out that. Now my best friend in Boston, he's got two kids. He's got two young sons. Right. And we were talking about it. And he, I said, you know, probably not for the boys, but you definitely, you got to see this film, da, da, da. Yeah. He, and, I, and, he, and I said, it's very violent, this and that. And then he's like, nah, he can watch it. Nah, he's good. Did he watch it with them? Oh, yeah. But, you know, they play like Call of Duty and like- I know, just, I know. know it, it's a different time now. So we, but, when we, we cut that episode, then we kept talking about it for at least a half hour it, after yeah, the recording. Yeah, that's right. We had a show after the show that we didn't capture. And right. We, we just kept going on and on about it. And we recorded it on things. That's how we spent our Thanksgiving, basically, was yeah. reviewing this film. <laughs> yeah. Our turkey roll was right here. That's right. So if you haven't seen Fat Man, run to the digital download screen and order this movie, buy this movie. Don't just rent this yes. film. Purchase this film. And I, and I was lucky enough to get the Blu-ray and Red because box. of the connections. Right? Redbox. Yeah, I have a Redbox I, account. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it like the Senate. Yeah, I blew but, uh, that up quick. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. But get the, <laughs> get the Blu-ray. Well, the Blu-ray because comes I was, out of the States January 26th. 26. So you can pre-order and it. And I was lucky Amazon. enough, it's 15 bucks. And 15 I was bucks. lucky enough to hear the commentary and, and see all the extras. And now Ian, one of the directors, just posted an eight-part, like, it should have been on the Blu-ray. I'm like, thanks, yeah. Ian, because this is like more extras. It's Those great. little interview clips and things. Yes. And, and it's, it's, I don't know how that didn't make it to the Blu-ray, but all right. And let so, me point out this too real quick. Oh yeah. We yeah, go yeah. To the next yeah. one. Um, the same brothers who directed Fat Adel, Man directed Adel Small brothers. Time, small town, town Crime. Crime. Now I would have never found this if right. not for Fat Man. And we both thumbs small, up. Small Town Crime is a fantastic film. Five minutes in your hook fantastic film you got to see that film too you see everything these guys have, have done but those two films in particular are just awesome great so then we then we revisit the godfather three because we we learn now we didn't know this when we did our godfather three episode you know we were long time godfather three That's loyalists right. we stand by that to this day no matter what and we learned after we did that episode that Francis Ford Coppola is doing a re a new cut of the film. How it's like awesome. This we've been waiting for this. Thank you. Oh my Thank God. You. It's, this is redemption time. We're going to fix all those, fix all those mistakes and things that, you know, existed oh. in the first film and then win over and convert all those haters. Right. Right. We're going to win them all back. Absolutely. And so, uh, 
spoiler alert, we didn't win any of them back. In fact, they lost a couple in us because the, this recut was terrible. And Just when you thought it was bad, they put it back in. And what was, we had a couple of great lines in that episode too, which every time I, when I hear you say, my take on it, I'm going to get my car, <laughs> drive to the studio, and open my window and wait for them to chuck out all the money that they're throwing away and they're giving away. Oh my God, that just makes me laugh. But what was the one? Oh God, I, there was another one. You said it in you the episode. Lost. And then I thought about it after because you said it slightly off. And then I was like, oh, if you'd said this, it would be great. But um, yeah, it brought nothing new to the, the, to this the film. This is not what I wanted. Yeah. That, I that was your film. Yeah. That was, right. was, wrong. That's great. That was yeah, great. that was the line that you had. You said, track, just yeah. when I thought it was out, he put it back. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit Man. so it, it's just such a disappointment again it, the it's cut of the it's film two we're of us just about. right we're just railing and, and on we're just that, railing on that's 30 minutes of us just wailing yeah. like little yeah, kids, i guess like it should have said dying. the title of the episode should have been why you should hate the godfather coda <laughs> <laughs> that's what i should yeah because it. and well, I, I don't give a shit about spoilers anymore, but right. it's here it is. The original title was The Death of Michael Corleone, and spoiler, he doesn't die. <laughs> he doesn't die in The Death of Michael Corleone, but he died in The Godfather 3. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and, and we also learned that they took out, uh, it, it wasn't Francis Ford Coppola. It was put on by Francis Coppola. <laughs> he took out his middle name. Well, it was a new edit. It was a new edit. So thank God. Thank God we didn't end the season of Oh Brother season one on that note. So we, right. So our mother reaches out, unbeknownst to us, our mom reaches out to Ian Nelms on Twitter and says, hey, makes a light suggestion. Hey, you know, saw the movie Fat Man, it's great, whatever. Hey, why don't you go on the Oh Brother podcast? and talk about the film and ho ho holy shit uh ian now says yeah sounds great <laughs> so next well, thing dan, you know dan takes that as gold right and he calls him up to book him yeah so next thing you know we're booking the nelms brothers on the podcast oh that was funny and, and so what a fantastic way for us to end the season and you know and, and to have a season like we've just recapped where we started where you know the audio is terrible there's like no production value whatsoever and then to have the opportunity to to interview these two guys who were just so again gracious fascinating fun crazy you know really uh, good directors after seeing a film that was just so fun and new and fresh different for in fact i don't know if it's i was thinking about this because i made a prediction that in the next two within, to, within well you said within yeah within the uh, yeah two to seven now i'm changing oh okay With two to seven years they're gonna win an academy award yeah and i started thinking is fat man now fat man's never gonna get nominated for best picture but it could get nominated for best original screenplay. If there's another original screenplay better than that, show it to me because it's yeah. the most original thing I've seen in 10 years. Right. So right. that prediction could go from two to seven years to a couple of months. You know, and, and this is not uh, pandering for the show, no. but this is, this is just, we really genuinely want you to hear the interview with these guys because their, their journey into filmmaking is, is awesome. It's inspiring. Uh, it was fun. Uh, they're very loose and laid back. And, and it's a, it was a very, I mean, it they went let by it fly, in a flash. They let it fly. They let it too. fly. Absolutely. Especially it, Ian. Yes, that's right. And, and uh, just, again, it, we couldn't have, we couldn't have uh, storyboarded a better way to end the season. Than now, mom reaches to out that. to Ian again recently yeah. with suggestions for sequels and prequels to Fat Man and asks to be in it 
as a cameo. Yeah. And he said, okay. So Perfect. I guess that's the green light. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I hope she can get there by car, bus, or train because we know she don't like to fly. So. Oh, that's true. That's true. Hopefully they'll be filming somewhere in the that's right where it's cold. So look at that's um that this is that's the year in review. That's a year in review. 32 episodes in. And uh, you know, look, this has been a tough year on everybody. Really, um, the shittiest year on the record. shittiest year on record. You put that right, put that in the time capsule beside the shittiest movie of the year, Wonder Woman '84. Send that shit off to some other land. <laughs> Let's forget now, about it. Now Let's start over. Isn't in it ironic? We start a movie podcast, the worst year for the movies. It is interesting. Yeah, financially, right release wise nobody released anything because they don't want to lose those big dollars yeah uh we were we were starving for new content right like searching amazon prime and netflix for something new yeah and we wind up getting you know fat man as our payoff in the end which turned out to be you know listen a Christmas it, miracle. It was the podcast gods. I mean, we were so lucky that it worked. I, you couldn't have scripted it any better. No, no. You really couldn't have scripted it any better. So we're very, we're very fortunate. We've had a great time so far this this first season. Uh, we, we we're we're going to come up with something unique and original and fresh and fun, uh, and maybe controversial as well. You know, it's <laughs> it's inevitable with two brothers, <laughs> and. Uh, and so we're, you know, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a brief, probably a brief hiatus, but we're, we're looking forward to being back in 2021 and seeing what that holds. And again, you know, we're, we, we already can tell you, we're going to have, uh, we'll have Jamie Chambers back on the show. We're going to have the Nelms brothers back on. We'll talk to them and uh, excited to see their upcoming projects, you know, regardless of what's going on right now. We're all hopeful that, you know, hopefully come summertime, things are starting to turn a corner and look yeah, a, a little bit of, more normal. A lot of things got delayed, you know, not only financially problems, there's theaters that are gone forever. You know what I wish got it's delayed? Sad. Wonder Woman Wonder 84. Wonder Woman 84? That, that should have been delayed in, indefinitely. Dude, God, that was hard. How about, how about the way they introduced her invisible airplane? Yeah. Yeah. It, oh my God. It is bad. And, oh yeah. They're working on it for 10 minutes and Hey, got it to work. Wonderful. Great. Good timing. I did it once before. Exactly. With a rock. Yes. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's invisible. <laughs> with the hand That motion. was it. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. Good Lord. Was that bad? We so appreciate I those of you that have listened and tuned in and totally and repeatedly tuned in. We hope you'll continue to do Quebec, that. Uh, Tiana. Ontario, check her out. Ontario. I check her out. Ontario. Yeah, Tiana. Tiana loves movies. That's Tiana right. Give movies. a yeah. And Make also, a let's give some love to a Dave Diaz who does our theme music. Yeah. Uh, Dave came up with an awesome uh, intro and outro for us that we use on every episode. Well, probably since like episode six or whatever it was. That yeah. We, right around the really Godfather really episode, we, we yeah. started to use it and. It, it made all the difference. It really it again, changed the logo. Changed the logo. That's right. That God, if we had gone with some of those original iterations, <laughs> just so. But that's part of the fun is to look back and see how things have changed. So again, yeah. ohbpodcast.com. OHB is in brotherpodcast.com. Uh, we again, we can't thank you guys enough. We hope we've entertained you. And uh, we're looking to do the same thing in, the, in 2021. So stay tuned. And uh, we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. But that's going to do it for this episode of the O Brother Podcast. I've been your host, Dan Smith. Alongside me, as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith. And we will see you in 2021. Happy New Year, everyone.